Good morning guys, good morning. It is a beautiful day. We are at 30 degrees. We're gonna hit 47 today. I am at this house. Some of you may remember it. You might have seen it. It's one of my favorite backyards. We are gonna get plenty of leaf footage. We're gonna be doing leaves here and uh, there's a lot to do, a lot to blow out. And then we're gonna head down there and do another house. So two today. One tomorrow, and then I'm going to be working Wednesday doing a little bit because it's going to be 60 degrees, man. I'm not going to pass that up, a chance to go make extra money on a beautiful day. So, hey, let's get to work. Plenty of footage, man. And uh, look, we'll come up with a topic somewhere along the way. If we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. I just hope you guys are getting ready for Thanksgiving with your families, and I hope you're going to enjoy it. So, without further ado... Let us go to work. Tell you what, the wind is brutal today. Blowing it right back uh, onto me. Now I don't have to do a regular cleanup here. He didn't ask for that. He just wanted the leaves done. So let that warm up a little bit, and let's get to mowing them. Okay, I gotta go mask up and uh, this is gonna be a nightmare, but let's get her done.
right, I'm gonna stripe this up and I'll show you the after view. Okay, there it is. Striped as good as it's gonna stripe for this time of year. Um, my preference would be to take all the grasses down, take all these daylilies out and all that, but that's not what he wanted. So there it is, leaf clean up on the back. I've got a little bit of the side to do, but I'm gonna spare you that and we're gonna go on to the next job as soon as I'm done. I think all in all, maybe 45 minutes to an hour here. So not too bad, man, and it looks great, I think. Let me know what you think and uh, see you in a few, guys. Okay, guys, we are on the next one. I just got done blowing most of it out. The wind's blowing pretty rough, so I'll be blowing and then mowing up for a while, but let's get some footage for you. This is the last one of the day, and uh, I'm ready to get this done, man, but it is a beautiful day out, so when you're used to 20, 40 feels like a heat wave, so let's go to work. Okay, no, I am not cutting the entire yard. To me, that amount of leaves right there, it's not worth wasting my time on. I'm gonna focus on the big areas. So uh, let's get this side done real quick. We'll move on to the front. Okay guys, that's enough footage for the day. I gotta get that cleaned up over there, get the other side done. I'll show you all this when I'm finished up. It's gonna take about a half hour or so. See you soon. All right guys, there's the end result. And I think it looks great. Customer super happy. So uh, we are, sorry about that. We are going down to, uh, meet him at the bank and uh we're all set man that's two for the day and uh i'll talk to you guys here in a minute i'll see you soon but i think it looks great okay guys just got done at the bank tell you what not too bad out here 40 degrees loving it got uh two more days of work one more cleanup tomorrow and then a big that big two acre leaf cleanup uh, that I do for the folks that no longer live at the house, gonna be doing a lot of different stuff there. Probably be there next week, a day or so. Starting a new job next week, part-time, going back to the tool company. Um, I like it, you know, it pays, It pays for our uh, groceries, pays some of our bills in the winter, so we get to save, keep some of that money we saved. And uh, that gives me something to do. Uh, we'll definitely be going, starting the gym next week for sure. We're going this Friday to sign up for that. What I wanted to tell you, man, and I hope, and it's more the younger guys that are just getting started in business, saving money. Okay, not just saving money for the winter time, but saving money 
to have that nest egg, to have that retirement. Um, some of you guys are homeowners that watch the channel. Some of you guys are full-time lawn care guys. Some of you guys are part-time lawn care and you work a full-time job. Whatever you do, you know, I had a guy that was very wealthy tell me once, 17% was the magic number that he put away every time he got paid. It didn't matter. And he was a self he was a self contractor like us who owned lawn care businesses, owned his own contracting business, very big business. And uh, he told me, he said, you know, checks are coming in constantly, but you have to take the time every night to go in and transfer that 17% into your personal savings. And of course, you don't want to just do savings accounts. You want to get involved in some uh, investments. And I personally would advise people to get a financial advisor before you know how much work you need to take on, you really need to talk to a financial advisor to find out what are your goals in life? Where do you want to be when you're 65 or 70 or 75, however long you want to work? Now, look, just because you retire, my, my goal is to retire at 67 and then to cut yards a couple times a week, probably until, you know, I just can't do it anymore. I don't want to do what I do now full time when I'm 67, but I still want to go out and keep myself a little busy. I'm sure my wife would love to get me out of the house for a while at that point, but um, you guys have to know what your goals are, man. But, you know, otherwise you're working to just work. You're working to pay for stuff to work, but there's got to be something greater than that. There's got to be a goal. There can't just be, hey, I'm working to buy groceries and pay for my bills, and then I don't know what I'm doing with the rest. I guess I just blow it on whatever I want. You've got to have a goal, and if, without a financial plan, how do you have a goal? How do you know what you're working for? So, hope you guys take heed to that. This winter, it's a great time to go in, see someone at your bank, talk to a financial advisor. Most banks offer it for free. And um, I know credit unions do. So go see someone, man. Take time. Take the time for yourself now before you get my age and you look back and say, oh my God, I've only got 15, 16, 17 years left. What am I going to do? You got to be prepared, man. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the cleanups. As always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. Love you guys. And uh, have a great week. See you soon. Peace.